Right. Evening, everybody. We're going to give some folks a chance to get in here. Um, sorry, we don't have the... Uh, we're going to move the table so that my wife isn't showing up in the video. All right. So this is new to me. We've got a we've got a nice we've got a fancy 1080p webcam that we're using tonight. We've got uh, this is Mike, by the way, with um, the Modern Collector. I got John here with Hat Trick Hobbies. So we've got a, a joint break going on this evening. As you can see, we've got four different boxes. We've got a couple things going on. We'll explain it to you um, once we know everybody is in here. Um, so it looks like we got a pretty healthy stream right now. I can't tell if anybody's even in here with us or not, but. We've got two watchers right now. Oh, perfect. We'll give everyone, because we've got, we got well, three people that are in the break that are not here with us. Three of the three of us are here on um, myself, John in the break, and then uh, John W. is also in the break. He's here with us live as well. So once we get everybody in here, we can start breaking stuff. It is 7.30, so... We're technically live. Well, I'll explain. I'll, I'll kind of explain a little bit what we're doing, uh, just to kind of get everybody up to speed before we start breaking stuff, because this is going to be uh, after the fact. We'll be we'll be able to everybody will be able to go in there and watch us afterwards. So we've got four boxes that we're breaking today. We've got six folks that are in the break. Um, everybody was randomly assigned five different teams. Uh, so. Out of each of these breaks, you'll have the same five teams. And uh, there's different rookie classes for each of these. Is one of the reasons why we picked these different sets is so that everybody kind of had a, a fair chance of scoring something kind of nice. Um, so we are uh, – I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll remind everybody who they have for teams. Um, so John H. has the Florida Panthers, the Detroit Red Wings, Buffalo Sabres, Anaheim Ducks, and Edmund Oilers. Mike C. has the Flyers, the Islanders, Rangers, the Kings, and the Dirty Dirty Habs. Uh, our buddy John W. has the Maple Leafs, the Flames, the Predators, the Blues, and the Blackhawks. Uh, we've got, uh, we've got a double up on the sound here. There you go. Um, so Mike P., me, I have the Devils, the Hurricanes, the Penguins, the Canucks, and the Wild. Uh Stevie's got the Coyotes, the Lightning, the Blue Jackets, the Jets, and the Capitals. And last but not least, Jimmy has the Senators, the Sharks, the Stars, the Avalanche, and the Bruins. Um, so we are fortunate that John did not get the Senators or the Sharks as his least favorite player in the entire league uh, is Eric Carlson. So, Jimmy, I hope you get a couple of those. You can give them to him for Christmas. Um, so we, uh, we are going to start on the left and work our way to the right. So the MVP, there's no guaranteed hits out of that. Uh, but there is a, a pretty sweet draft class. Um, so you've got guys like, uh, for Boston fans, David Krejci, Yaroslav Halak, um, a couple of uh, Rangers rookies, Callahan, Dan Girardi, uh, Brandon Dubinsky. We've also got uh, Jonathan Taves as well as some superstars, Patrick Kane, Kerry Price, Nicholas Backstrom. So some good good uh, rookies in there. Beehive, um, Evgeny Malkin and Crystal Tang kind of highlight that um, rookie class as well as Phil Kessel for the Bruins. Um, the Allure, which is the current 2019-20 uh, uh, hockey. So you've got, obviously, the big boys, the Quinn Hughes, Jack Hughes, Capocacco, um, the presumptive uh, Calder Trophy winner in Cal McCarr. Um, and then last, we get the Titanium, which is hitting every pack. So we'll, we'll kind of work our way left to right. Um, John and I are going to share the duties tonight. I'm going to start with the MVP. John will hit you with the Beehive. I'll come back for Allure, and then John will get you with the big with the big box at the end, the Titanium. Um, I also have, thanks, John. Mm -hmm. um, we also have a couple extra packs of Allure that we got out of another hobby box, um, as well as we've got this fun. Um, I opened up a pack of 2010 2011 Zenith, uh, trying to find some Taylor Hall rookie cards. And um, I, I was fortunate enough to have a nice hot box. So there was three autos, five hits that came out of there additionally. Um, I apologize, my. My two-year-old is here with us tonight, and he's a bit of a uh, ter terrible twos is starting a little early with him. So um, this card, this is one of those Dare to Tear cards. Um, Brian Leach, one of the uh, the Zenith legends. 
we're going to open this up on um, on the camera. We'll do it at the end, so if you guys don't feel like sticking around, you don't have to. Um, but yeah, there's there's a card in here, and uh, we're going to open it up and see what's inside, but we'll do that a little bit later. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started with the MVP, and I apologize, I'm not prepared here. John, can I take a look for a second? Sure. So, so if you if you guys have ever, have seen uh, Patrick Hobby's latest 0708 MVP uh, box, we did break one uh, last week here, um, and we did happen to catch a uh, a very nice Sackick uh, Forsberg uh, dual memorabilia patch card um, that we graciously donated to uh, one of our uh, largest uh, Joe Sackick fans there. So, so Chaz, uh, you know, uh, enjoy that card on the mantle. Um, but we are. Uh, We'll hopefully catch something like that. Uh, we did catch a couple uh, Shanahan, uh, Shanahan cards and, and a few other, uh, few other Sackett cards as well, but no, but no large rookies. We didn't hit the Patrick Kane or the Jonathan Taves or the Carey Price last time, um, so we hit a bunch of really just uh, kind of no-name rookies. So hopefully we'll uh, have a little bit more luck going on tonight. I'm going to adjust the camera here, guys. So if you see this thing moving around, that's me. Um, it looks like the lighting's pretty good. Um, John, let me know if I'm if I'm off camera for any reason. So um, my setup is a little bit differently. Normally, I, I have my desk. Um, boy, that is that is an ugly ugly angle. Gotta fix that. That's gonna drive me nuts. I seen your bumper sticker. Just kidding. We're not going with that one. All right. My donation here. Oh, so we can see some of your. Uh, this is the fantastic point. We can see some of your comments now popping up. There is a delay. So just be mindful of that. Um, no, no, I got it right here. Yeah, but that it's a little more delayed on this. On this, I'll get the time. Let me know. Let me know if you yep. get anything popping in. Yep. So I'm trying to I'm trying to get the right angle here. Does this? Yeah, this one works here. This is not my camera, guys. So um, we're trying something. We're, we got the uh, Patrick Hobby's camera here. So I'm not super familiar with how it works. So apologize about that. Um, I am going to take all the packs out just to uh, to give ourselves a head start. Um, keep in mind, these are going to brick a little bit just because they're kind of old cards. Listen, that's not so bad. So a um, little fun fact in case you guys are looking to uh, open something like this. Put these cards in the freezer if they're going to brick and they come apart a lot easier, as you can tell. John, uh, it sounds like you had a little bit of trouble with those. So. Um, right out of the gates, we have a silver script, Alice Hemsky for the Edmonton Oilers. Stefan Yell for the Calgary Flames. Um, we'll, we'll, uh, if anybody's got any questions, again, we're, just feel free to ask. Corey Stillman for the Hurricanes. Trevor Linden for the Canucks. Travis Zajac for the Devils. There's a Zetterberg with the Red Wings. And a monumental moment, Brendan Shanahan. Um, that's funny. So in our last uh, our last 0708 box, we actually pulled that same exact card and we uh, donated it to uh, donated it to TMC's uh, PC stash. And now he's got a double uh, he's got two X of those. So another one to add to your stash. Uh, well, no, Chess Chess has the Rangers. Oh, that's right. Yep. Um, now, John, do you remember were there any um, fillers in these packs? Um, there were. Yes, okay, there so were there's some fillers. thick packs. I want to make sure that I'm. Yep. Nice Glenn Murray for the Bruins for Jimmy there. Got Eric Lindros for the Dallas Stars. Colby Armstrong for the Penguins. Joseph Stumpel for the Florida Panthers. Antoine Vermette for the Senators. I apologize if I'm going a little too fast for you guys. Um, there's a lot of cards in here. The other ones will slow down a little bit. Dennis Weidman for the Bruins. Nikolai Zherdev for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Alex Steen for for the Maple Leafs. I did not know he played for the Maple Leafs. Yes, he did. And we've got our first rookie is a Matt Ellis for the Detroit Red Wings. Um, so first rookie goes to John. I also failed to mention um, what we will be doing for the... Uh, I'll just put these here for you. Yeah. What we'll be doing for this break as well for the, the folks that are entered in. Um, I have a 1982 Opeechee Wayne Gretzky in action card that we're going to be giving away. So... The player who has the lowest numbered card, so a short print number card, uh, that will be the one who is awarded that card. So we'll, we'll get to that at the end, and we'll try and uh, we'll try and update you as we go. Um, so we're back to the Hurricanes. We got Rob Brindamore. I'll move some of the stuff off camera here. It's kind of busy. Sammy Sallow 
the Canucks. Something stuck there, yeah. Does not want to come apart. So Viznovsky for the Kings. Kerry Lutnan with the Atlanta Thrashers, which um, failed to mention as well. So if the team is no longer around, whoever their new team is, so this will be the Winnipeg Jets, um, we'll let you know when each of those comes up. Mika Kiprasov for the Flames. Got a David Legwand. These are long expired. So, And a, uh, a heart candidate, Robert Bobby Lou Luongo for the Canucks. That's a pretty looking card. Yeah, Jimmy, it's it's uh th this is gonna this first box is gonna take a little longer than the uh, the other ones just because there's a lot more cards in it. So I'm I'm gonna go a little bit quicker with it, but I apologize for any uh, delay there. Sergey Gonchar with a real odd looking signature. I'm not sure about the lighting on this thing. With the the lighting in this room is it because of me? Yeah, I might have to move a little bit. Now, the signatures are a little funky. You're not going to be able to see them very good. Mike Commodore with the Hurricanes. Brian McCabe with the Maple Leafs. Alex Ald with the Florida Panthers. Is it Chuck Kobasu? Gone but not forgotten for the Boston Bruins. Rostislav Olish for the... I don't know why you're giggling. That's his name. For the Florida Panthers. Another expired card. And a Jonathan Siglet. Here you go, Jimmy. You got a rookie that I'm not even sure he ever played a game. Not quite a Usain Bolt, buddy, but. So, again, it's. Uh, this is Mike with the Modern Collector. We've got uh, John with Hat Trick Hobbies. We'll put, uh, we'll put his his uh, site in the uh, the description of this video as well on the YouTube channel because we're on live on Facebook right now, but we'll go up on YouTube later. Um, so, check out, give his, give his channel a, a, a look. Um, he does mostly hockey, so I'm sure this is right in your wheelhouse if you're watching this. Uh, Michael Roosevelt for the Rangers. Patrick O'Sullivan with the Kings. Nice nice jerseys that they had on those mid-aughts teams. Matthias Oland for the Canucks. There's a Miroslav Satan with the, uh, the Islanders. John Michael Lyle with the Colorado Avalanche. A Johan Holmquist, Tampa Bay Lightning. Jeff Carter back when he was with the Flyers. And a David Clarkson, a guy that I always wanted on the Bruins, but uh, glad he never made it over here because that guy flamed out big time. I so believe far, you have the Devils too. I do have the Devils. I do have the Devils. Um, I don't believe we've had any numbered cards out here, but it's very unlikely that we're going to find anything out of here that's super short print. Got an Andre Kostitin. One of the Kostitin twins, brothers. I don't know if they're twins or not, but they looked very much alike for the Habs. Pierre-Marc Bouchard, Minnesota Wild. There's Thomas Holmstrom for the uh, Red Wings. Jody Shelley for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Shea Weber, nice looking card with the Nashville Predators. Peter Budai, the Avalanche. Got another uh, milestone moments in the back there. Got a Alex Frolov with the Kings and a Daniel Alfredson. Boy, didn't you didn't you uh, pull an Alfie? I did. Yep. Very similar boxes. So far, which means which means that there might be another second board that's doing the very good patch. That was doubtful, but who has uh oh J uh, uh Jimmy has the uh yeah but who would take it that we have to figure out if who else has the card? Oh, that's correct. So if if a card if a card. <laughs> If we do have a card come out with two players on it and they're not on the same team, um, we will randomly draw for that card at the end of the break. Um, so don't assume that you're going to get it if you have one of those two teams. Uh, Martin Gerber for the Senators. Heinrich Lundqvist with the Rangers. Sean Horkoff with the Oilers. There's a Spezza back with the Senators. Here's a Phil Kessel with the Bruins. So you guys don't have to whisper. Okay. Well, yeah. Secrets don't make friends, guys. Yeah. Uh, Anaheim Ducks with Jean Sebastian Jagir. There's a Backstrom with the Wild. Ryan Pret with the Coyotes. And an Islanders rookie, Franz Nielsen. So there's uh, probably the first impactful rookie that's come out of the, 
the box here, somebody that's played a lot of games. This is a real thick pack. I'm going to save it just in case it's that dual card. That little thicky. This was in the last box as well. Was it? Yeah. Was it the this in the last yeah. one? Yeah. Hopefully we get an auto out of here. It would be nice. We like the ink, guys. Dan Klucher, the Kings, Robin Rogero with the Flames, Rajulov back with the Predators before he went back to the KHL, Andrew Burnett with the Avalanche, Here's a Lindstrom with the Red Wings. Radulov played for the Canadians, right? Who's that? Radulov played. Yes, Radulov played for a little bit for the Canadians, and he's with uh, Dallas now. Nice. Frederick Modine with the Blue Jackets. Nice. Another expired card. And oh, Joe nice. Thornton, nice. heart nice. candidate nice. card. Same, same one in the last box. Too. Was it really? Yeah. Boy, we're, we're doing up big time. That's a, that's a Jimmy Johnson card. There's another thick one. We'll save the thick ones for last. I'm sure that there's mostly fillers, if not all fillers, in there. But we'll slow roll those for you guys out of the uh, just for the excitement factor. Seven folks watching. Appreciate you guys joining us today. Um, Brian Pache for the Capitals. I'm sure I butchered his name. I'm not sure if that's how you say his name, but no biggie. Hey, hey, Timmy Thomas. There you go, James. It's been a pretty good break for you so far. Before he, uh, this was before he lost his job to Tuukka Rask and then got it back and then lost it again and eventually won the Con Smythe Trophy. Con Smythe Trophy. And then disappeared off the post. I know. He, yeah, he's got some head. Uh, he got some head injuries. Unfortunately, he doesn't feel doesn't feel uh, nice in the being in the public eye. So Eric Stahl back with the Hurricanes. You see Oaken in with the Dallas Stars. Mike Richards with the Flyers. Uh, a little something on his nose there. Eric Belanger with the Atlanta Thrashers. Matt Pettinger with the Capitals. And a P.A. Parento. Did you have that too? So we're, I mean, we're seeing, boy, if, if one of those cards. So, again, it's very similar to the... 0708 box. They, they both came from Steel City Collectibles, um, so that would be that would be something. I mean, what are the odds that two boxes out of the case have the same same inserts? But I guess it could happen. Aren't it? The Predators? No sticking. Rick DiPietro, Rick Glass Legs, Hips, Groin DiPietro with the Islanders. Mark Rucky, the Penguins. Martin Strack with the Rangers. Alexi Yashin with the Islanders. Michael Nylander with the Capitals and Martin Yo. I'm not even going to try it, guys. Some guy from the Panthers. He was a rookie. If he played longer, I'd be able to pronounce his last name, but he did not. So, so one kind of interesting thing that I'm noticing about these boxes is a lot of the newer MVP boxes, uh, they have silver scripts on uh, maybe 20% of their cards. All of these cards actually have silver scripts on, which is a, I don't know if it's a new thing that they've been doing in the last last few years, but uh, it's kind of a big difference in between the two. My guess is that these are just that this is the base card. They all have yeah. the silver. Um, it, it, there's a possibility that there's some red scripts. I don't know if there's uh, variations in the 07. I know it was less likely. There wasn't as many variations or insert uh, versions, so it's 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 most likely that we're not going to see anything cool like that out of here, but. Um, we haven't hit any of the rookies. I mean, Franz Nielsen's probably the only NHLer that we've got out of here. So, uh, got a Kessler for the Canucks. There's a Robert Lang with the Blackhawks. Javi Bulin with the Blackhawks. Milan Michalik. I'm going to say that like uh, like I know what I'm doing. Sharks. Duncan Keith with the Blackhawks. So, I guess that that's kind of what's... So, that that's not his actual signature that Eric... Perrin. I wonder if they just couldn't get his signature, because that's the same. That's the same signature that they're using on these rookie cards. Yeah. That's probably just an oddity. Um, the Lightning. We've got Rafi Torres, my one of my least favorite players that's ever laced him up. Big jerk. And a Joe Sakic monumental moment. So that was a card that you had on the last box too. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yep. And that goes to Jimmy. Jimmy. I feel like we've lost Jimmy. He was he was uh, pretty vocal there in the comments section. Not some guy from the Panthers. Oh, that. So this is just not. That's weird. So 
I want to say thank you to the Islanders and the Flyers for going on overtime for us today, so we're not going to miss as much of the Bruins game due to the break. Uh, Matthew Lombardi for the Flames. This box is sticking together. Uh, Jason Baca, yeah, yeah, yeah. Close enough for the Blues. Taylor Pyatt for the Canucks. Ole Jokinen, the Panthers. Vladislav Schmid for the Oilers. Matt Cullen, the ageless wonder, back with the Hurricanes, even though he's wearing a Rangers jersey. That's a funky one. Um, I guess we'll make a make a determination. That's weird. Why? I wonder if that's a... Even on the back, it shows that he played for the Whoa. Rangers. Yeah, that's... It's got the Hurricanes logo. That's a misprint of some sort. Uh, uh, no, so, yeah, so it he depends. May he may finish the season. Right. It could be like a trade deadline kind of thing, or if it's a... Well, there were a few cards in the last... Double we'll make a determination on this one a little bit later. I'm sure that nobody's going to lose sleep over a Matt Cullen card. Right. Uh, Brent Seabrook and a Jack Johnson rookie card. So still playing. That one is different. That, he's, he's still playing, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Rutherford loves him in uh, Pittsburgh. He's a good player. Yeah. Even if his parents did steal his money. Or that's Eric Johnson. They're the same guy, guys. Hey, Rich, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in, man. Who's there? Uh, one, of my, uh, one of my friends, Rich. What's going on, Rich? All right, so we're getting down there. We've got a couple of... Well, we've still got a bunch of these. I'll speed it up a little bit for you guys, just for this box here, until we can get to some of the bigger stuff. Uh, Mark Denis, the Lightning. Derek Morris with the Coyotes. Jason Williams with the Blackhawks. Sheldon Saray with the Oilers, with the Habs jersey on. It's another fun one. Ilya Kolchuk with the Thrashers. Chris Clark with the Capitals. Roman Hammerlick with the Flames. Steve Bernier. With the Sharks and a Jameson Hunt with the Washington Capitals. If you tuned in this evening to see a bunch of rookies that never played games in the NHL, you are really enjoying yourself. And you know what? Oh, yeah, look at that. I'm just adjusting the comments so I can see what's going on here. Do you go by the team on the back of the card? So, Stevie, it goes by the pers- the, the team that they play for, plus 5,000. It, it goes by the team that they play for when the set came out. Oops, something on the back there. I'm sure you guys just saw that. It's probably one of the monumental moment cards that we had in the last one. So, yeah, whoever, whoever they played for at the time that the card was printed. So, right now, Drew Stafford, Buffalo Sabres, he played for them. Um, I, I imagine that some of those cards were just because they didn't have current photos. Um, here's a here's a fan favorite in Boston here, Thomas Caballé with the Maple Leafs. Justin Williams with the Hurricanes. We've got a peanut section running through here. here. I'm sure you can hear him. Justin Williams with the Hurricanes. I don't know if I said that. Chris Jerry with the Rangers. Thomas Pocanic. Pocanic with the Canadians. There's a Mark Andre Fleury with the Penguins. And a game faces Joe Thornton. That came out of the last one too, right? Eh? Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, Jimmy's Jimmy's making. Up. Yeah, it's weird. That is very strange that that's going on like that. So I'm still putting aside the thick packs. Again, probably fillers, but if there's anything going to be in there, um, hits wise, they're going to likely be in those packs. So. Let's get some sticking in here. So we got Chris Higgins with the Canadians. Joe Thornton with the Sharks. It's the Joe Thornton box. Scott Gomez with the Rangers. Damon Lanka, the Flames. John Graham with the Hurricanes. There's a Marion Hosa with the Thrashers before his move. Another expired card. And Aaron Rome. Boo! We're Bruins fans, so we don't like Aaron Rome. Famously uh, knocked. What's his face? Man, I'm drawing a blank here. Famously, uh, what was it? Why can't I think of his name now? What's going on with my brain here? Who are you thinking of? What's Aaron Rome in the, the 2011 Finals. Nathan Horton famously oh, knocked yeah. out Nathan Horton with a with a cheap shot, which in my mind was what secured the Stanley Cup because that brought us together. So I guess thank you, Aaron Rome. 
in big dink, D-I-N-K, so we're not uh, demonetized, not that anybody's making money anyways. You're making out with your hand. Oh, yeah, we got some we got some uh, chatter in the, the comment section for those of you who aren't on Facebook Live. Darcy Tucker, another jerk with the Maple Leafs. John Madden with the Devils. Frederick Norena with the Blue Jackets. Chris Neal with the Senators. So Ryan Getzlaff with the Ducks. Got another rookie card in the back there. Hopefully we get uh, somebody that's played a little bit in the NHL. And Ray Emery. The Senators and Rob Shrimp. Not really coming through with the rookies on this set. There was a lot of them in there, and uh, we're not seeing any of them. It's interesting because we've actually we ordered the boxes at two separate times. Uh, same day. Did we order same yep, day? Same day. It doesn't matter. They, they were likely came out of the same case. Yeah. Since they came from the same. I mean, no repeats in the same pack, but it just seems box to box. It's know. it's a little strange, I gotta say. I mean, that happens, especially with a this and it's an entry level product. This is not a high end product. Um, Pascal Leclerc with the Blue Jackets. You got Matthew Schneider with the Red Wings. Marco Stern with the Bruins. Derek Bugard, the Boogeyman, rest in peace with the Wild. There's a big Z Zdeno Chara for the Bruins. Harry Lettman with the Stars. Marcus Naslin with the Canucks and Bobby Lou. I know we saw that one. Mm -hmm. It is. It's striking. It's very strange that so many of these. So, what we were saying earlier is one of the cards that John pulled was a dual relics jersey card with a Joe Sackick and Peter Forsberg. And if we pull one of those out of this this box, that'll be very very strange. And that's that's so that'll be Ches and, and Jimmy, right? Okay? Yeah. Backlog Prospel, the Lightning. Brian Rafalski with the Red Wings. Just making sure there's nothing stuck there. Rick Nash with the Blue Jackets. Vinny LeCavalier with the Tampa Bay Lightning. Owen Nolan with the Flames. Chris Kunitz with the Ducks. Peter Forsberg with the Predators. Obviously, he was with the Predators, not with the not with the Flyers at the time. So that was after the Felix Forsberg trade. Mm -hmm. Victor Cousin. Oh, no, they traded. Yeah, yeah, traded Forsberg for Forsberg the other way around. Victor Kozlov and Jeff Schultz. That was with the Islanders, by the way. Kozlov and Capitals. At the very least, these cards are in all pretty good shape. I mean, the corners are nice. There's no creasing, no weird, nothing on the card. So that's good when you get a card that's coming out of these packs and they work like that. Sometimes you get paper loss. Um, sometimes you get bad corners. They've been jostled around in boxes for 13 years. Um, so we're not having that problem with these, which is nice. Patrick Eves with the Senators. Hey, Dave, what's going on tonight? Appreciate you tuning in. Uh, we got Eves with the Senators. Jeffrey Lupo with the Flyers. Ian White with the Maple Leafs. Mike Ribeiro, Dallas Stars. Nico Koivu with the Minnesota Wild. There's uh, Zibnik McCallick with the Coyotes. And an Iggy, MVP Game Faces. And that came out too. So that's another duplicate with uh, with another box that came from the same retailer. So we're pretty much, uh, we're pretty much, let's go Bruins. I'm with you, Dave. Let's go Bruins. Big game tonight. We have um, we have the game going behind us, although it hasn't started yet. Um, so hopefully we'll be bringing you some updates. Although I'm sure folks, most of you are watching this on your phone and watching the Bruins game uh, elsewhere. So here's Scott Niedermeyer, one of the NHL's best all-time defensemen. Manny Legacy with the St. Louis Blues. Bear Jackman with the St. Louis Blues. Dan Boyle with the Tampa Bay Lightning, another all-time great defenseman. Jay Pandolfo with the Devils. Stephen Weiss, uh, just make sure that with this essay, I, I'm trying to keep that away from, cool, we'll put that right here for now. Stephen Weiss with the Panthers. There's Anze Kopitar, and we've got a Buffalo Sabres rookie, Patrick Coletta. He looked like he was going to have a decent career early on. 
All right, so these are our four real thick packs. I'm sure they'll be. I'm gonna say I'm gonna go to them and say we got one relic, and it's a. Uh, I think it's a match. Oh, it's gotta be. There's. It's been too bizarre of a. Uh, so this is a filler in here, or at the very least, it's, it's blocking an auto. So that'd be nice. That would be. Yeah. So that's a. Uh, we'll put that Save down. Twenty-five percent. Yeah. If you have a time machine, you can go back and save 25%, guys. Uh, Marty Turco with the Dallas Stars. There's a Ryan Whitney, Pink Whitney himself with the Pittsburgh Penguins. New Amsterdam's got some... If you've had it, it's actually pretty good. I don't like vodka, but I do like the, uh, the Pink Whitney. And Tara Nidimaki with the Flyers. Ben Eager with the Flyers. Jonathan Chichu with the Sharks. It's a name I haven't heard in a while. There's Michael Ryder with the Canadians. Best save of the 2011 Stanley Cup Finals. Or I should say the first round of the Stanley Cup Final Playoffs. UC Markinen for the Oilers. And Pavel Dimitri with the Wild. So there's something back here. I'm sure that this is a card that you pulled out of the last one. New World Order. It is a Mark andre Fleury. I don't think that's... Uh, I watched a portion. I watched yeah. a portion. I didn't watch the whole thing. Um, oh. Yeah, we don't want to. We gotta turn that down just in case it shows up on here. That'll that'll get us blocked and banned. And we've got a wild two-year-old vehicle running by. If you could hear that, a runaway train there. So we've got. It's another one of those New World Order cards. We'll just go ahead and take that out. Milan Hayduk with the Avalanche. Bobby Lou again with the Canucks. Slava Kozlov, the Thrashers. Kevin Bieksa with the Canucks. Alex Tange with the Flames. Mark Antoine Pouillot, Edmonton Oilers. Andrew Peters with the Sabres. David Backus with the Blues. And a Heinrich Zetterberg, New World Order. Yeah, that one I remember, so... Love Zetterberg. Super underrated player. I mean, he kind of played at a time where overshadowed at the beginning and at the end of his career. Um, just just a great great two-way hockey player. Did the, Played the game the right way. I'm a, I'm a bit of a Red Wings fan, though. So another New World Order card in there. Shane Doan with the Coyotes. The Yotes. Tyler Arneson with the Avalanche. Brian Campbell with the Sabres. Chris Mason with the Predators. Brett Clark with the Avalanche. Oop, I'm getting a little out of the camera there. Sorry, guys. Dan Cleary with the Red Wings. Pavel Datsyuk with the Red Wings. Kyle probably likes that card. Big fan, I'm sure. Tuomo Rutu. And Milan Mihalik. Those are kind of cool-looking cards. So three of those. All right, our last pack in the MVP before we move on to the boxes with the guaranteed hits. Uh, no, we do not hit that. Uh, we did not have a hit out of here. So what was the difference? That's the only difference. We didn't yeah. get that uh, dual relic. So Matt Carl, the Sharks, Mike Van Ryan with the Panthers, Yoni Pitkinen with the Oilers. Johnny Oduya with the Devils, Yuri Hoodler with the Wings, Sergei Fedorov with the Blue Jackets towards the end of his career there, Chris Phillips with the Senators, Saku Koivu with the Canadians, and Orion Miller in World Order. So, again, none of these cards were numbered, so we have not had our first raffle candidate. So, um, like I mentioned earlier, the lowest short print numbered card that uh, we see so the first number so if it's numbered 10 out of 100 um, and that's the lowest first number then they are going to win a 1982 OPG uh, Wayne Gretzky card so I am going to step on out and let John take over on this beehive this is going to be kind of a, a funky box here guys so there's going to be stuff going in and out of the camera uh, just warning you now all right, let's get right into this. So this is an 0607 Beehive. Um, what you guys will notice uh, after we open this is that every single pack in this includes 
a 5 by 7 card and a pack inside of that uh, 5 by 7 inside of the pack as well. So there's actually, technically I'm opening a pack to open another pack, but we also get a 5 by 7 card in here. Um, and there are chances to pull an actual auto out of the uh, 5 by 7 cards as well. So... So it'll be really interesting to see. Uh, we did watch a video just recently of the of the Beehive where uh, someone actually pulled a Redemption Wayne Gretzky card, um, which I think uh, ended up getting a, a Tavares card out of it because uh, with this being so old and you have to submit them to, to Upper Deck, they, uh, they'll they give you a card that's pretty comparable to it just because they don't have the cards uh, sitting around anymore. So hopefully we'll get to be as lucky. Upper Deck is tough. Oh, and uh, hey, Bonnie, thanks for joining. Um, yeah, Upper Deck is tough. They don't typically redeem... Uh, well, they, they don't advertise that they redeem their expired cards, so um, I'm sure that we could convince them to send us something. But I had a gentleman pulled an a autograph, Wayne Gretzky, and they didn't have it, so they sent him a future watch, John Tavares. So that was kind of nice. All right, so our first 5 by 7 card is a Marty Turco uh, from the Dallas Stars card. So this is a... These cards are, are ginormous. We do have a, uh, we did get a couple of sleeves from uh, Dave Ferrante over at uh, Hall of Fame in Lominster. Uh, if you guys uh, are uh, are a fan of the the hobby as we are, uh, check them out. Uh, they've got uh, a ton a, t- a ton of uh, baseball, football, hockey. Uh, you know, please please go and visit him. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, essentially every single pack has a pack inside of it. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna open the first couple packs and we'll have my friend TMC over here, he'll open up the packs on the uh, the right for me so we don't have to spend so much time opening packs inside of packs. Um, so let's go ahead and, and start with this uh, with this first pack here. And what I'll do is I will put this down and I will hand these to Mr. TMC and he will open those for me so we don't spend so much time. All I'm doing is taking the packs out of the packs. I'm not opening any of them. Mm-hmm. So we are looking at Kerry Lattinen for the Thrashers. Got a nice little black and white card here of Thomas <coughs> Kopetsky. A Montreal Canadiens, Cristobal Huey. And an Atlanta Thrashers, Ilya Kovalchuk. Apologize if you can hear the background noise, but TMC is just opening all the, uh, all the cards for me. In case you're wondering, Jimmy's not homeless, he has walls. Mm-hmm. All right, our next Beehive card for the 5x7 is an Ottawa Centers Dana Heatley card. Uh, thank thank God that uh, Eric Carlson is not in this pack because uh, I would absolutely hate a 5x7 of Eric Carlson because he is my least favorite player in the history of mankind over at Hatrick Hobbies. I don't hate him. Not like I hate Alf Samuelson. Oh, we're looking at Mark Parrish of the Wild, a Beehive rookies of Alexander Radulov. So there's one of our uh, decent uh, rookie cards here, probably our best one so far. And the Radulov, and the Radulov goes to Willie. Willie gets the Radulov. All right, so uh, so good thing here. And we actually have a thick a thicker card at the last card of it. So there's something else in the back here. Let's take a look. All right, so it's a patch card, some sort of mem- memorabilia card. Thomas Vokun of the of, of the National Predator. So Willie hits a double out of this particular pack. So he hits a Radulov Beehive Rookies and a uh, Thomas Vokun Nashville uh, patch card. So congratulations, Willie. Nice job on that one. We'll sleeve those up. I will. Uh, I'll sleeve those in just a moment, guys. As a reminder, there is one. Relic in one auto that comes out of here, so. All right, so as you can see here, that these are actually open because TMC is opening them, but the uh, the packs are not open, um, the small packs, but we're, we're just trying to cut some time here into this break, so. Uh, all right, so this 5x7 is another Nashville Predators, and this is a Paul Korea card. So uh, Willie's making out quite, uh, quite, quite nicely on this pack, so. On this box here, so more National Predators for you, Willie. Got a base Thomas Vokun National Predators, a Gilbert Brule, 
with the Columbus Blue Jackets. We have that Beehive rookies, Mr. Bruin, Mr. Mark Stewart. Uh, so Jimmy gets a nice little rookie card there um, for, for, for Mark Stewart. We'll go ahead and sleeve that up for him. And uh, we'll get the Ageless Wonder himself, Mr. Rod Brindamore, current coach of the uh, Carolina Hurricanes, uh, in that last pack. So uh, Jimmy gets the good rookie card for that with you the mean, Mark Stewart. You mean Joe Cool? Because he looks like the camera. <laughs> yeah, I'm real funny, guys. All right, our next Beehive card for the 5x7 is a Dallas Stars Eric Lindros card. Uh, who has the Dallas Stars? This is a very nice card. I, I do like Lindros as a player. Is Jimmy. Jimmy gets an Eric Lindros 5x7. Jimmy's taking out, man. i got to say. He's going to go ahead and slide these over here for now. Yeah, that's that's expected. I mean, these are this is an old set, so well, giant cards too. Yeah. So we're starting out with a Brad Boyaz or a Brad <laughs> Boys. Uh, if you guys haven't watched, there's another video out there where they open a, a Beehive pack and uh, he opens up uh, the Brad Boys card and, and says Brad Boyaz. So if you guys uh, check that out, that's a, a pretty funny video here. It's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Got a Capitals Olaf Kolzig. Only the goalie. We have a Alexi Yashin. Uh, New York Islanders. It looks like a like a blue parallel of some sort. Yep, um, so it's a little bit different than than what you guys are are, are seeing here. Um, mm-hmm. Than the than the uh, the brown outline cards mm-hmm. and a mm-hmm. Chicago Blackhawks Martin Havlat card. So uh, I believe I have the Islanders. So I think I get that no, blue parallel. Oh, Chez so Chez Chez has both the New York teams. Oh, that's right. Uh, they do not have odds on the parallels in here, but there are a couple different border parallels. Um, Make sure that that card's not numbered. It is not. So we still don't have a numbered card for the Gretzky. I should probably get that and put that in the back, huh? Mm-hmm. We have a Michael Ryder 5x7 five by, uh, five by for our next Beehive card. i got to say, I really like these 5x7 cards. They're kind of nice. Yeah, they're they're, 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 uh, they're they're a bit different, but, um, you know, it's uh, these are really nice in, in comparison. I wish, I wish they would have more packs like this. Um, with the 5x7, just because it'd be cool to have our brakes and be able to, to put our next 5x7 card in the background. All right, small pack on this. We're starting with a um, Brendan Shanahan card. Just put him in the back there so everyone can see. This is what the uh, the raffle is for the the breakers today. Is that 82 OPG? We're looking at a black and white Nicholas Lidstrom card. So I believe I have the Red Wings, and Lidstrom is part of my PC. So that will go directly into my PC. So uh, thank you, Mr. Nick Lidstrom, for for being a uh, dynamic and very, very, very good defenseman. Uh, We're looking at an Alexander Steen for the Maple Leafs, and we're looking at an Owen Nolan for the Phoenix Coyotes. So so nothing too special in in that small pack there, but... uh, I, I still like the Michael Ryder uh, five by seven uh, on that. So, congratulations to whoever has uh, the Canadians. Five by sevens. I'll, I'll take, take more throw out cards over sure. here. Just so I can kind of keep them organized. <clears throat> so there is a chance that one of these five by sevens could be autographed. That would be uh, that would be a nice hit. So we do have an autograph coming. Mm-hmm. Um, it'll look like a regular card. So you can't really slow roll these autos all that much. This is a Pascal LeClaire Columbus Blue Jackets 5x7. Uh, no auto in that, so I do not know who has the Blue Jackets, but congratulations to whoever uh, has Columbus, that. Columbus, I believe, is Stevie. Yep. So congrats, Stevie. Mm-hmm. You get something to, to throw, in your, uh, throw in your dresser there. We're starting with a, another Detroit Red Wing and a PC of mine. So I got two PCs out of this and Mr. Dominic Hoshik card. Oh, good to know that you're collecting the, the Dominator. And there... It, it, oh, there's... there's um, a, is that an auto or is that a... It looks like a script of some there, sort. There are some uh, facsimile uh, autographs in this set. Mm-hmm. So it's unlikely that that's auto, but... Yeah, it doesn't look like a true auto. I hope right? it's not because we don't want Kopecky to be our auto. <laughs> right. I mean, I'll t- it's a def- it's a Detroit Red Wing, so it's me, right? So <laughs> yeah. we'll, uh, we'll 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 take that here over sure at uh, at Hot Truck Hobbies. But uh, it's a good uh, it's a good uh, good card there. Got a Marty Turco for the Stars, and another Zetterberg uh, for the Red Wings. So that pack was uh, pretty pretty Red Wing heavy there, um, except for the the five by seven, which I would really like to get a five by seven to be able to to to, to put on my put on my mantle. Uh, that is not an autograph. 
Yeah, it didn't look like an autograph. Okay, um, so our next one is a Joe Sackick 5x7 uh, card. So this goes to Jimmy. Jimmy. And Ches sure is... Ches is going to beat you up for it. Yep, Ches will probably beat you up for it. That's <laughs> a... That's a very, very nice uh, psychic uh, 5x7 there. We'll give that over there to TMC, the Modern Collector. And in the small pack, we're looking at a Jeremy Roenick for the Phoenix Coyotes. And Evgeny Malkin, black and white, That's for the... Is this uh, this was his rookie year, wasn't yeah, it? it is his so is year. it? But it's not a. So they have they have a rookie. There's a rookie set. Yeah. Um. Oh no, it's not his rookie. The well, six or seven was his rookie, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Take a look at your list because yeah, you you've, you've got. There, there's a rookie set in here. I think that he is in the rookie set. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it's his rookie uh, year. Yeah. Looking at Jared Stoll of the Oilers. And Paul Correa of the Nashville Predators. So, so no, no rookies, no autos in that particular pack, but a very, very nice Joe Sackick five by seven. Our next five by seven goes to a Guy Lafleur Montreal Canadiens card. So this is a uh, who's got the Canadiens? Chiz does. So this is a really nice black and white uh, old school retro card. I mean, look at their helmets. Their, their helmets back then were just incredible compared to the, the helmets nowadays. Um, so, so that's a very cool card. Uh, congratulations, Chez. Chez, if you're going to get yourself a Canadian, the flower is the way to go. And that's actually a, um, that is not a base card. I don't know if you want to show them this. Um, that's a variation. Yeah, so if so you see, if you look at the, uh, border. yeah, so if you look at the, the Joe Sacker card, it's got more of a, 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 a lighter tint to it than the Guy Lafleur card. It's a little bit darker, which means that there's, uh, a little bit more uh, added value in that particular 5x7. So, again, congratulations, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chez. Looking at the Brian Gianta New York New Jersey Devils. A nice Timo Solani for the Anaheim Ducks. Always love Timo love, Solani. Love Solani. I pulled a Winnipeg Jets card of his the other day, and it was just absolutely awesome. A Shea Weber black and white, uh, different kind of parallel card here for... The National Predators again, another Willie. So Willie's getting, uh, yeah. Willie's got, uh, got, got a nice um, Predators hit. going. Yeah, we'll consider that a hit. That's a good looking card. Yep. Like and these. a Mark Andre Fleury for the uh, Pittsburgh Penguins. We got about five more packs left, six more packs. So let's kind of blow through these real quick. Making good time, guys. We appreciate mm -hmm. everybody for joining us. So our next uh, five by seven is a Rob Blake Los Angeles Kings card. So uh, nothing too crazy there, um, but, a, but a, good, uh, a good player, good defenseman. And in the small pack, we have an Alexander Froloff for the Kings, a Simone Gag Gagne, Gagne, Gag Butcher, Butcher, Gagne. Gagne uh, for the Flyers, a black and white uh, off-brand parallel of Paul Correa. Again, another Willie card, man. This is pretty uh, yeah, Willie, national deep, man. Willie's having a good break. Willie's Will, having a good break for, for this particular thing. And a Peters Forsberg uh, Philadelphia Flyers card. So, again, we'll uh, we'll give that one over to, to TMC to, to sleeve that Paul Correa black and white. Yeah, these have, like, main parts on them. Yeah. Which is a little different from the base cards. So, mm -hmm. so our next 5 by 7 <laughs> Is a Miroslav Satan New York Islanders card. So, so nothing too special uh, um, with that particular five by seven. Still haven't hit our actual true auto yet. We did have that uh, Kopeski, uh, you know, off-brand yeah, sort of script. Sure. So, I would. I, I've, it, stranger things have happened than the a box not having an auto mm -hmm. on it, unfortunately. So we're hoping we don't have another. There's another red border. Yep. So we have a Kerry Lettinen uh, Atlanta Thrashers card. We'll move that to the back. Got a nice uh, Martin Prodeur there. Who's got the doubles? I do. Oh, nice. Good card for good card for you. Uh, it's pretty uh, pretty goalie heavy here. Uh, Ryan Miller. What do you think? Goalie for the last card? We got three goalies. No. Kopitar, is it an auto? Uh, it's one of those. Uh, it's one of those. Uh, yeah, off uh, off brand, you know, auto kind of scripty looking card, but a red sharp looking card. Sharp looking card. Congratulations on the back if it's an auto. Yeah, 
Um, I believe that's a Chez card. Mm-hmm. I believe Chez has the uh, Chez has the king, so that's a good looking card for you, Chez. Yes. I am a Kopitar fan. All right, our next five by seven I'm trying to trade some. Uh, is a uh, another Gila Thor card, just a little bit different variation from our first one. So if you guys remember, our first one was black and white and had a had a different border to it. Um, this one's more of a more of a generalized common card. Um, but again, whoever's got the Canadians is uh, be Chesy again. Man, Ches is uh, making out with the uh, the Gi cards here. Um, he's whining about his team. Yeah, yeah, those are those are nice, man. I like I like the different variations of everything too. All right. Looking at Mark Parrish, a black and white Alexander Ooh. Ovechkin for the Capitals. There you go, Stevie. That's a very, very nice card. Um, we'll definitely sleeve that one up for you, Stevie. We've got a Rob Blake for the Kings and a Jose Theodore Theodore for the uh, Colorado Avalanche. So I guess that's that Ovechkin card's probably one of the best cards we've seen so far. Yeah, and, and Willie is extremely handsome. Our next beehive for the 5x7 is a Mike Bossy Islanders card. Oh. There you go, Ches. Ch- Ch- you're making out on these 5x7s, but... Yeah. Man, these are the 5x7 man, Ches. You are the 5x7 man in this uh, in this particular box here. Oh, yeah, Ches. Yeah, Ches is doing good on these 5x7s. So you've had a couple of good cards. Yep. Looking at a Hanu Toivin and Bruins oh, card. <laughs> Shows you how old some of these cards are. Or just yeah. the players. Rick DiPietro from the Islanders, greatest contract in history. What's that back there? Uh, there's a thick card. That might be a... That's another goalie. 30. Carolina. Cam Ward? Wow. Cam Ward, Madden Materials card. So I'm hoping that doesn't mean we get gypped on an auto and get two relics, but... Who's got the, who's got the Hurricanes? Uh, Carolina, I believe, is... I do. <laughs> TMC gets the gets the patch card for Cam Ward. Yeah, it's very nice. I'll take it. Oh, look at this. Who's got the Rangers? Chesy. Chesy, another five by seven here. I missed it. The king himself, Henrik Lundqvist. He did say how many balls do you have? He did. Say, he did say he was a five by seven man. So. I think that's like three or four straight five by sevens for Chez. He's got no five. Six in a row. I hope you have six walls in your house, Jez. <laughs> Start off with a Ryan Smith and the Tenorios. Oh, yeah, that's that's going to be it right there. That's right. got to be it right there. Matt Sandin for the Toronto right. Maple Leafs. Right. A Jean Sebastian Jaguer for the Anaheim Ducks. Okay. And that is a Coyote. Oh. That is a really young Coyote. A rookie. Oh, that's just a BM rookie. Envir Lyson. Lyson? I butchered that name, I'm pretty sure, but I have never heard of that player in my life. Oh. Yeah, that's a pretty good go. card. I'll sweep it up for you, Stevie, just because, you know what? I feel bad for you, but that's uh-huh. what just happened. I would really like one of these Beehive cards. Yeah, that would be really nice. to be incredible. Another oh, oh, Canadian. Oh, Jesus. Clemeny. Oh, I got that. Saku Koivu. Uh, Chez, that's seven straight? Seven Se- straight. For Chez. Seven straight. Oh, okay. For For Chez, for the Beehive card. The best, the best part is I'm seeing, I'm seeing the, everybody's going, Jesus, Chez. Oh, my goodness, Chez. And they don't even know because they're, they're out of the light. <laughs> Starting out with a Vesatoskala, uh, yeah. San Jose Sharks. Yeah. Boo! An- another uh, Enver Lyson card. Um, par- brown parallel there, we'll call it. Uh, that'll get sleeved. Jason Spezza for the uh, Ottawa Senators and with the Maple Leafs recently. You think he played his last season this year? Do you think he's going to come back? Uh, I, th- I think he's still got I think he's still good <laughs> stuff in the tank. Mm-hmm. And a Doug oh, Waite yeah. Blues card. All right, so we got one more pack left, and we have not hit a, a true auto yet. Yeah, so, I, I, yeah, that's a bummer. I'm kind of bummed out of here. Yep. So we got one more pack left. All right, what do you think, Chez? Nine out of nine for Chez for the last no. nine? Nope. Um, yep. Oh, this person is a right. Brad Boyaz. Yeah. What do you think? I was giggling when I heard <laughs> that. That was the first thing. <laughs> yeah, a Brad Boys uh, card for for Mr. Uh, Mr. James there. The so. Yeah, congratulations, James, for Mr. Boyaz. I don't think we're going to get him. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, 
No, you are. That's all right. You get, we'll get some stuff out of the next two boxes. You know, back to last. Yeah. Well, yep. That's what she said. Let's, oh, okay, so there's a blue yeah, something yeah. there. So we'll, we'll leave, leave that to last. Looking at a Pavel Dimitra for the Minnesota Wild, a Miroslav Shatan for the New York Islanders, a Yarmir Yager for the Rangers. Wow. There you go, Chez. There you go, Chez. Okay. And our last card is a wow. Canadian... Yeah, Guillermo La uh, Guillermo La Couldn't even read it because of the cursive. So it's in a blue parallel. Um, not again, not the greatest card. And, and no number cards and no autos. There's two whole packs so far. Hey, so. we have the Dan Marino has joined us. Not the Dan Marino, but the Dan Marino. Ha <laughs> look at Jimmy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go back to our friends over at TMC to open up our allure packs. Give us, Jimmy, 20. give us just a second to clear it, because these 5 by 7 cards are gigantic. Uh, yeah, help yourself, buddy. I have one. Thank you. Uh, I'll be back in just a second, guys. Alright, we need still scoreless for, for the Bruins game for those who are watching. Um, I do have a trash. So, so that was kinda that was kinda dumpy. We did not hit the auto. It's on the box. It's on the inside. That's kinda I'm sad about that. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, what are you gonna do? Sometimes you sometimes you you swing and miss. Oh there it is. <laughs> That's okay. But what we did, what we did learn from that is that uh, we hopefully Chez has enough walls for for all the five by yeah. sevens anyone. Back wall. You're gonna have to get a poster board, and tape them on there, but Lace is out, Daniel. Lace is out. Pit a powder. Let's get out her. <laughs> all right. So um, just a reminder. So we're gonna get some numbered cards out of here. This is the giveaway. So for the six people that are in the break. Um, whoever has the lowest numbered card, not the second number, but the first number, will win this 1982 OPG Wayne Gretzky in action card. Um, I mean, it's not a perfect card, but it's in, it's in pretty good shape for a almost 40-year-old card. So we'll leave that on screen there. Um, so we do have three extra hobby packs. Uh, I'm just going to slice this sucker open. So we are down to all right. So eleven packs here. So sixteen packs total for the break, guys. We appreciate everybody for joining us. Um, I'd like to again shout out our local card shop. Support your local card shops. If you live in the Central Mass area or you're not too far away. Um, Hall of Fame Collectibles in Lemonster. That is my local card shop, and it should be your local card shop. Um, they have a fantastic selection uh, of pretty much all sports. But uh, our, uh, his his selection will get you through anything you need. You've got sports, non-sports, comic books, uh, pop figurines, everything you can imagine in there. So um, these are the three extras. We'll open those up last. We know we have some guaranteed hits in here. And then again, the lowest numbered card. There should be some out of that titanium as well, but um, we'll dive right in here, guys. So this is 2019-20. So you've got your uh, Jack Hughes, Quinn Hughes, Kale McCarr, um, Capo Caco, uh, Hero. So you got a couple in there. So um, these are these are real good looking cards. I love these Allure cards. They are our favorite. So Guillaume Brisebois for the Vancouver Canucks. Alex DeBrinkett with the. We haven't seen much for the uh, the Chicago Blackhawks this evening. We haven't seen a lot of really good looking stuff. Hi, buddy. You can hear my uh, my son screeching at me here. Um, can you go? Can you go see uh, Meme? Uh, we got Jimmy Schult with the. Oh, uh, we we did not mention this either. So, Vancouver. I mean, not Vancouver. Vegas is not distributed amongst the breakers. Anything Vegas is going to the worst break. John and I will determine who that is based on who gets what with the cards. Um, obviously, you won't know that until afterwards because um, we're not going to make you guys sit here while we sort everything. But if you have the worst break, um, we're going to reward you with the, the Vegas stuff. So maybe you'll get a hit out of here. There's a, a rookie, Ilya Mikheyev. 
Got a die cut of Quinn Hughes. Who's got Vancouver? I do. You. Yeah, that's what I say. Is that that's a red rainbow? I that is right? a red rainbow. Yeah, that's a again some of their some of their cards like the the orange and, 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 the, uh, and the, green. the Zach McEwen wow, rookie that's, back that's to a, back. That's a pretty good uh, pretty good hit there. They are sharp, man. I do I do like the other cards. And I'm not a huge you know, and I don't I don't hate all the modern mid level stuff, but for for all you know between Allure trilogy synergy ice, I, I think I like the Allure the best. Uh, I mean, I'm a sucker for the Opeachy. Uh, we're gonna put the. Ooh, there's a blue. Put that in the back there. There's a couple uh, good-looking cards in this pack here. So Sebastian Aho for the Hurricanes. Uh, we'll move these off this. I don't even see him. Tomas Hurdle with the Sharks. Toivo Teravainen with the Hurricanes. Dante Fabro rookie card with the Nashville Predators. You've got an Allure Top 50. Danny Decor with the Ottawa Senators. Number 73 Ooh. with the Red Wings, Anthony Mantha. Is it numbered? 17 of 25. That's a good one. So we're going to go ahead and put that right here. If you want to sleeve that up and yeah. slide it on there. So that's going to be tough to beat, guys, 17. So, again, like I mentioned, I'm just going to show you. 17, that number is what we're using to award that Wayne Gretzky. So whoever's the lowest first number, 17 out of 25, has taken it so far with the blue line prism. That was not numbered. Boy, I was hoping we get a real high number on that first one. And the queen is not numbered. Either. It is not numbered. We looked at that. I, I, I took a peek first yep. just to make sure. There's your favorite player on the back there. Got a Blake Lazat, rookie card with the Kings. Eric Carlson. The San Jose Sharks. Look, he's looking right Jimmy. at you. He's looking right at you, Johnson. Just, Jimmy, just burn that card, please. Thanks. There's a John Tavares with the Maple Leafs. Patrick Kane with the Blackhawks. Open ice card. Connor McDavid. That's me. That is weird. There's no acetate. Huh. Is it, it's just an empty circle, huh? And you just put your finger right through it. I have the Jack Hughes version of this, and it's got acetate on it. And a Matt Duchesne. Not numbered. Those open ice aren't numbered on them. Uh, I don't believe so, but I didn't realize that they had these with no acetate on the back. That's bizarre. Because you've opened a bunch of these. Does that uh, does that make sense? That's a good-looking card. So uh, Edmonton Oilers, that's you, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that is interesting. I've, I've never seen a card that before. Really, that is really weird. Really nice looking, I do, I do really like the. the oh, we got a hit in here. They're all like that, Joe said. There's a Sidney Crosby on the front there. The uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins. Brady Kachuk, Ottawa Senators. Miko Rantanen with the Avalanche. There's a Teddy Bluger, top fifty. And we've got a top 50, so it's going to be a rookie. It looks like a Predator. Yep, Fabro? it is Dante Fabro. Patch? It is. Nice looking patch card. These are thick cards. Not numbered. That is a uh, Stevie hit. It's That's nice. Really hit. Well, he's got national number. He's pulled like 90 million cards. Does he really? Yeah. Let me just make sure. So, uh, sorry, Stevie. Yeah. You do not have the national Predators. You're right, so that's a willy hit. Mm -hmm. um, that should fit in one of those sleeves. Let me know if you need a thick sleeve. Um, I have them. So this Matt Duchesne's a white rainbow. Oh, yeah. I didn't even notice that it was a... Uh, Not numbered, though. No. Just make sure that there's no numbers floating in here. I doubt even if there is a number that's going to beat the 17, but... Yeah. Got another blue one in the back there. And a red. Leon Dreisaitl with the Edmonton Oilers. These packs have been pretty Joel good. Joel Fabry, yeah, we, these, I like Allure. Yeah. Yeah. Hoping people can see this. Joel Faraby, rookie card with the Philadelphia Flyers. There's a Sagan, Dallas Stars. Matt Dumble with the Minnesota Wild. Iced Iced out. out. So Patrick Kane. That's a Willie. Again. Man, Willie's making out. And a Sergey Bobrovsky with the Florida numbered? Panthers. Neither one of these are numbered. You have the you have the uh, the Panthers. I do. Yes, you do. Oh. 
It's a third one out of those. I'll take that. Well, considering that you haven't really hit much before this piece, yeah. this box, so. Take some polls out there, you guys. Tell, tell us what team is going to actually hit the auto out of those. Three. Yeah, we haven't had any real big. I mean, we have any autos? We haven't had any autos. Yeah. Just those scripts out of uh, out of the beehive. Are they really chess? Did I just maybe I just never took the uh, chess thing? They're all like that. Tampa scored. Boo, boo this man. Got a Carl Grundstrom. Kings rookie. Nathan McKinnon, Colorado Avalanche. It's a guy that we want in this next box is the McKinnon rookie. Joel Pavelski with the Dallas Stars. Austin Matthews, Toronto Maple Leafs. Joel Ferraby again. Dallas Star, Ben Bishop, White Rainbow, numbered? not numbered. Not numbered. So there should be, we should have some numbered cards come out of these last two box packs. They, they do advertise that there's a, a handful of numbered, uh, it should be three numbered cards per box. Could be wrong. Right, we got a red and we got a chunky card in there. Ooh. Here's a Rudolph Balsers. Ooh. Quinn Hughes rookie card, another one. There's a Capo Caco, Chesy. Claude Giroux with the Flyers. We've got a Austin Matthews for the record. That's interesting. There's a date on there. There's our, it's an Eric Brandstrom. Ottawa Senators. There you go, James. There's our auto. So Eric Brandstrom, famous for being the player traded. For Eric Carlson. Is this good? is not numbered. And this is numbered 39 of 349. Not good enough to knock off the 17. So it's a good hit, though. That's a rookie card, rookie auto. Die cut, numbered to 399. Tampa scored again. I don't even want to know anymore. <laughs> the auto's going to be the floor. So... Another white rainbow, so that's going to be it for the numbered cards out of here, unless something funky's in here. John Carlson, Capitals. Brock Besser with the Vancouver Canucks. Andre Vasilevsky, who's playing right now behind me with the T Tampa Bay Lightning. Here's another Connor McDavid. Cody Glass, top 50 for the Vegas Golden Knights. And a Ryan O'Reilly white rainbow, not numbered. So we have those three extra packs that I grabbed out of the hobby box that was open at the uh, Hall of Fame of Lemonster. Choco Taco. I'm not sure what that has to do with anything. We got another Caco. Whoop. Hope you didn't see that. Oh, this. We not just have a pack that had Rudolph Bowsers, Quinn Hughes, Capo Caco, Claude Giroux. This is the same pack. Nope, Taylor Heroes. Oh, nice. I'll take that. So that's a that's a that's got to be a variation. I'm not sure what yeah. the the difference is between those two cards. And a Nick Suzuki Habs. White Rainbow. That Heroes is not numbered. Neither is the White Rainbow. That's I, I don't know what the difference between. It's got a silver back to it. That's a little different too. Yeah. I don't know. It's got to be some sort of. It's just cut parallel. Cut. It's got a different you know. Eh. Cuts of I'm not super concerned about it. Yeah. If it was like a Jack Hughes or a Kill Makar, who we haven't seen yet. No. Uh, Jimmy has not left out with the Makars on this. There's another McDavid for the Edmonton Oilers. Another Guillaume, Guillaume Brisebois, the Canucks. Another is a branch from There's a green card. I don't know what that's numbered to, but it's going to be numbered, I believe. John Carlson with the Capitals. There's another Brock Besser with the Canucks. And that's a goalie for the St. Louis Blues, Jordan Bennington. Seven out of 99. Oh, who's got the Blues? Uh, St. Louis Blues, far left there. That would be Willie. Oh, man. That's a beautiful card. Yeah, the, the, the green, green Quartz, I think it's called. It is Green Quartz, and it does take oh, over. Sweet, if you want to. Yeah, that was uh, that was Mr. Kyle Fleur there in the uh, the fantasy league when he 
happened to get uh, Bennington in the late rounds there. All right, there's another Vasilevsky. Cool. Alex Dabrinkit. Yeah, number seven, Dave. Jimmy Schultz. Vegas. Tara Vinen. Hurricanes. There's a McDavid. It's blue. Winter Storm Warning. That's a sharp looking card. And a Joel Farabee. White Rainbow. So, that was a pretty good. I, I gotta be honest, it was a pretty solid box. We didn't see a Jack Hughes or a McCarr, but I, we have the, the Quinn Hughes. Um, so, right now, leading for the Gretzky is Willie with the Jordan Bennington number seven. I am going to. I have a. Uh, oh, give me a minute. Boy, not a great start to the Bruins game, boys. Nope. Unless you're a Lightning fan or hate the Bruins. Um, I'm not sure anybody who's watching the stream right now hates the Bruins, but I'm sure that when I throw this up on YouTube, <laughs> there's some people that are going to be geeking out over that. The camera's going to tilt a little bit. I don't know what happened there. All right. So we are going to... This is the last box of the evening, ladies and gentlemen, and... We are going to be opening a 2013-2014 Panini Titanium. Uh, these are five packs per box, four cards per pack, and there is one auto or memorabilia card in every single pack. So there will be a hit in all five packs in this box. Uh, so, so good luck to everyone, and uh, let's get the ball rolling. You know, to open up. <laughs> it was already like it was already broken up there from the shipping, so. All right, so just to give you guys a show, that top pack is way thicker than anything else. So we're going to move that top pack to the last one because there's going to be something decent in there. Unless it's a filler card because you know how much uh, us at Hatrick Hobbies love the filler cards. So these these packs do have fillers if there are autos in them. So, But they also have some books and they have some quad and six player relics as well. Um, so there's there's a chance that you'll have some cards that have four, five, six different players worth of uh, game used gear on. I do really like the the flashiness of the pack too. I think the pack uh, the pack looks really 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 nice. Well, they did a good job. It's a mid level. I mean, you talk about anytime you find five packs from cards, you want them to be good looking cards, right? Mm -hmm. So there is a thick card here, but I do not know if that's a filler because we have not opened one of these boxes before, so we will find out. All right, so our first card is a Craig Anderson for the Ottawa Senators, a Patrick Kane for the Chicago Blackhawks, a Mark Stone auto. Jimmy again. Wow. Okay, Mark Stone, bronze. It looks like a bronze bronze auto there. Metallic marks is what they call it. So there are bronze, silver, and gold versions of that card. Um, that's very, very nice. We'll, we'll definitely leave that one up for you. Uh, Jimmy's making out like a freaking band. And the last card is a Braden Shen Philadelphia Flyers card. So congratulations to Jamie, Mr. James over there for getting uh, the Mark Stone bronze auto there. No number card. Ferrante, I'm pretty sure his name is not Billington, but we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll keep it to that. Craig Billington. Craig Billington. Just like uh, having a conversation with my, my father last night, he called uh, Andre Vasileski Andre Vaseline. I thought that was uh, pretty. <laughs> that was pretty amusing. Um, so we got Corey Crawford for the uh, Blackhawks. Got Nicholas Backstrom for the Minnesota Wild. There's another thick card there, so we're gonna move over. It's another goalie, Mr. Carey Price. They're all, they're all backwards, by the way. Okay. If you want, yeah, we'll flip it over there. And this one is a the San Jose Shark. Looks like a Patrick Marlowe. Oh, it is Patrick Marlowe. And it is a Jor it's a jersey card, game worn gear, Patrick Marlowe. Which I believe is Jimmy as well. Jimmy has the yep. Sharks. Yeah. So Jimmy's two for two on these. Three for three actually, because he had the auto out of the allure as well. Oh man. James is uh Jimmy can you comment and say that you know what to do with these cards once we give them to you? Give them to a baby. They yep. love them. Yep. Shiny. All right, so we got another thick card here, um, but we're going to flip that over. So Ooh, no one knows. A, that might be a numbered card in there. Yep. Looking at Jason Spessa for the Ottawa Senators. We've got an Ooh. auto Sammy Vatanen, which I think is my card yeah, is there. You. Is that numbered? 
That is not numbered. Is that a rookie? Uh, is that his rookie card this year? Titanium Reserve Ooh. Defense. Yep, rookie RC card. rookie card. Nice. nice. Okay, and there's a and there's a thick card out back. So that, so yeah, that's it's a not a, it's not a hit though. I nope. mean, it's it's a. Mm-hmm. I watched a few of these videos in Titanium just to get a feel for what was coming out of here. So mm-hmm. <laughs> right. Dion Phaneuf here, and number fifty eight for the Capitals. So this is a year card, Mr. TMC. Nope. I don't have the capitals. Who's there. got the capitals? It's numbered. Does. It's numbered. Yeah. Number 77 of 100. Rookie not. card. A Connor Carrick. Kaka. Washington. Connor Kaka. Okay, Connor Kaka. Kaka. Connor Kaka. Washington <laughs> Capitol. Number 77 out of 100. How does that? How do you feel about that, Mr. Uh, Stevie? We know you like the Kaka cards. Kaka, Connor Kaka. Connor Kaka. You gotta give it to my two-year-old if you uh, if you don't like it. He can put some Kaka on it for you. Give it to him. Hey, Colton, here's a Kaka card. Oh, that's a filler. That means that there could be boy three oh, autos. Would be yeah. sick out of here. Yeah. Look at that, Andrew Ladd. Marion Gabarik for the Columbus Blue Jackets. That looks like a... It might be you. Uh, I saw a red wing, but we're not going to spoil it. Uh, Anaheim Ducks, Jonas Hiller. And there's our you, nice you, filler card. The filler to turn around. We, do love, we do love filler cards here. Uh, definitely a, I saw a bronze of some sort. So it is another auto. 25 for the Red Wings. A Corey Emerton. No. Another Kaka. Kaka Emerton. Corey Kaka. Another Corey Kaka card. <laughs> so, so that's Connor Kaka. That's Corey Kaka. Yeah, Kaka. Kaka. Kaka's all over the place. <laughs> I will take that though. That is a nice auto there for the uh, for for the Detroit Red Wings. All right. So this is the last pack of the evening, folks. Uh, again, shout out to uh, to Dave Ferrante there at Hall of Fame for for. Uh, always giving us the the best uh, best cards available, um, and this is the thickest card of the pack. So I'm really interested to see what's in I'm this. I'm willing to bet that we've got ourselves one of those dual or quad cards. You want to flip a coin to see who gets it. You got a coin uh, a on you? A lot of them. Hold on, a a lot yeah, of look them, at how thick that card is, man. Uh, that is a very thick card. A lot of them are the same teams. Yep. So it's it's likely. You might want to just flip it around. Oh. That's fine. Looks like it's, a, uh, it's definitely a patch card, I, I think. Mm-hmm. Mike Fisher, yeah. Okay, and Dustin Bufflin, backwards, upside down. We're going to use this to flip this over so no one saw it. That's you again, buddy. I, I think I saw the Oilers. It is an Oilers card. All right, we'll flip it around again. Ryan Miller, upside down. And the last card of the evening, folks, is a 64... Who's 64? Nail Yakupov. <laughs> Patch card. Rookie card. That's a beautiful looking card. That really looks, that, yeah, it's really nice. Oh, this is numbered 14 out of 25. So take the 7 over. No, but 14 out of 25. What do they call this? A 6 patch card? Yeah. Yep. 6 star. Right? So yep. this is a 6 star patch card. Uh, 14 out of 25 of Nail Yakupov. Boy, 2013 14 out of my sweet card. Yeah, he's number one pick, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Number one bust. Yeah, he had a, he had a very, very lucrative, uh, very, you know, decent career there. So that will go in our thick case. Uh, I, don't, um, I, don't, I didn't grab any thick uh, sleeves. That's so fine. Put that aside for now. All right, so this concludes the video. Um, we appreciate everyone, uh, you know, tuning in tonight. Uh, we will go ahead and organize all the cards, and, and everybody can come pick them up, or we will deliver them for you. Uh, just to remember that... Uh, whoever we deem has had the the crappiest break out of uh, all of the crew will get any of the Vegas Golden Knight cards that we oh. pulled today, which I think we only pulled maybe a handful, three or four, three yeah. or four. nothing crazy. So sorry, um, sorry if you had the cut to break. But we will we will actually say that the the winner of the in action Wayne Gretzky card here is uh, Mr. Willie here for getting this Green Quartz Jordan Benetton numbered seven out of ninety nine. So congrats to you, Willie, on getting this in action Wayne Gretzky card. Um, so for us, uh, for us here at uh, Hatcher Cobbies, we appreciate everyone taking the time. TMC, would you like to uh, say anything before uh, before we t- take off for the evening? Uh, not not a, nothing specific. Um, I mean, this was this was one of the longer breaks we've done, and uh, we did get a little loopy there at the end. But uh, I just want to appreciate we we had seven folks that stuck with us through the entire thing. So thank you everybody for tuning in. Um, again, Hall of Fame alumni, sir. We, we're beating the dead horse here, but. Uh, 
you know, support your local card shops, guys. Um, you know, they're, they're, you're not going to get a better price or a better product than you will at your local card shop. If you live in Central Mass, check them out. Hall of Fame of Lemonster. You can find them on Facebook. Um, check out. Uh, you can check out my page, uh, which I'm sure you're watching this on it, um, or Hat Trick Hobbies, uh, who is uh, he, he's on a couple different social media platforms: Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube, and eBay. And uh, we'll check back in with you guys soon. Thank you so much for checking us out, guys. And uh, just one one more thing for for us at Hat Trick Hobbies, we like to do a shout out to uh, JDF Sports. Uh, we recently partnered with them to give them giveaways on a on a segment they've called Puck Off uh, on uh, on Tuesdays, where we've uh, graciously donated a few cards for giveaways. Uh, guys, please go check the go check, go check them out. Uh, they they pretty much uh, cover all kinds of sports, um, and they're really an up, uh, upcoming uh, podcast channel. So I, I do believe that TMC will be uh, uh, working with them hopefully in the future as well. Um, and uh, looking forward to our our partnership moving forward. I uh, appreciate everyone taking the time and uh, enjoy the rest of your evening and go Bruins! Go Bruins! Go Bruins! Go Bruins. <laughs>